I'm interested in how you pump a swing. I don't mean what you do in order to pump a swing. Everybody knows that. I would like to understand the mechanism by which one pumps a swing. One possible mechanism is shown in this demonstration by my young colleague. No. If you'll notice, he raises the pendulum at the lowest point and lowers it towards the end. As you can see, it works fairly well. This mechanism is known as a parametric oscillator. Let's see how that works in practice. You're my young colleague is raising himself at the lowest point, lowering himself towards the end. You can see that it does indeed drive the motion. Yes, yes, that's very nice. However, that's not the way most people swing. Most people swing like this. You'll notice that most of the motion is towards the end. The swinger is relatively quiet as he passes through the lowest point. We notice that this is also true if somebody is pumping a swing seated. One moves to, towards the ends of the motion and is relatively quiet as you pass through the lowest point, very much at odds with the parametric oscillator model. We have seen that the parametric oscillator mechanism does not do a good job of describing the motion of a person on a swing. In the following demonstration, we have a wheel suspended from a pendulum arm. Notice that as the demonstrator causes a wheel to rotate in a clockwise direction, the pendulum is given a kick in the counterclockwise direction about the point of support. Of course, after this initial kick, the pendulum is pulled back to the lowest point. If these kicks are given in a regular way, close to the ends of the motion, the amplitude of the motion increases. 
This is called the driven oscillator, and it closely matches the behavior of what we saw with the person on the swing. Thus we see that pumping a swing is an example of a driven oscillator and not a parametric oscillator. Now we can go enjoy ourselves pumping a swing and have a deeper understanding of it.